Let's start talking about valuation by starting with that bond that we talked about a little bit earlier that was selling at face value. So remember we said that when a bond is selling where its price is the same as its par value or face value, then that also means that the coupon rate is equal to the yield to maturity. So that's what's happening here. So in the financial calculator we can check all of this by putting in the yield to maturity as 10, um, interest rate as 10, payment as positive 100 because that's going to be an inflow to us and then future value or face value as positive 100 compute present value or future value as positive 1000 compute present value and we'll get negative 1000 now let's change our coupon rate so now our coupon rate is 13 percent but the yield is still 10 Remember that at the time this bond was issued, the yield and the coupon rate should have been equal. So that means the yield used to be 13%, now interest rates have dropped to 10%. A key feature of bonds is that the interest rates and the bond prices move in opposite directions. So if the interest rate goes down, the bond price goes up, meaning it's selling at a premium, which is higher than face value. So that's what's happened here. So we're going to change the payment to $130. That's the face value of 1,000 times 13% compute present value and we get negative 1184.34. The reverse is also true. If interest rates go up, then bond prices go down. So here, interest rates started at 7%, went up to 10%, and now the bond price has gone down below face value, so it means the bond is selling at a discount. So now we change payment to 70, compute present value, and we get negative 815.66. So you really should be trying this, these out to make sure that you're getting the same thing. So what's happening over time is that that premium bond is going to decrease in value, the discount bond is going to increase in value, and the par bond is going to stay the same. So that at maturity, they're all going to be worth $1,000, which is the face value. So again, over time, premium bond decreases in, decreases in value until it reaches face value. Discount bond increases and par bond stays the same. So let's talk about yield. What is the yield to maturity on this bond? It's a 10-year, 9% annual coupon, $1,000 par value selling for $887. So this is a discount bond and we're solving for the interest rate. So in the financial calculator, that means that N is going to be 10. We're solving for the interest rate. 9% is not the interest rate, not the yield. It's the coupon rate. So we're solving for the interest rate. The present value is negative 887. The payment will be $90, $1,000 times 9%, and the future value will be $1,000. If we compute the interest rate, we'll get 10.91. Now, if it's a premium bond and the bond price is 1134.20, we just change the present value to 1134.20 and now we compute the interest rate and we get 7.08%. So this is the same concept as we saw before when we were solving for bond price, but now we're solving for interest rate. And so we're seeing that same phenomenon where the interest, if the interest rate goes up, bond prices go down. And so it's going up relative to the coupon rate or going down relative to the coupon rate as we see in this case. Let's go over some quick definitions for some more things that you need to know about bond yields. We have something called a current yield which measures the coupon payment and it's actually the annual coupon payment so you got to keep that in mind if the bond is making coupon payments twice a year. The annual coupon payment divided by the current price gives you the current yield. So that's telling you how much of your annual return is coming from your coupon payments. 
And then second is the capital gains yield. That's the change in price, so ending price minus beginning price divided by the beginning price. So that's telling you how much of your return is coming from the change in the bond's price. So if we add those two together, that gives us our, our total return, which is equal to the yield to maturity. So the yield to maturity is equal to the current yield plus the capital gains yield. So here's an example. If we're looking for the current yield and the capital gains yield on a 10-year 9% annual coupon bond that sells for 887, we take that annual coupon of $90, 9% times 1,000 divided by the current price of 887. Don't worry about making it negative because we're not putting this into the time value of money worksheet. So 90 divided by 887 gives us 10.15% or the current yield. Now if we wanted to know the capital gains yield, because we know that yield to maturity is the current yield plus the capital gains yield, we can just take that yield minus the current yield and get the capital gains yield. So you're not going to, so most of the time you won't have to calculate the capital gains yield that long way, um, change in price divided by beginning price.